You're saying Tearshaw and Shum stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking, to reach the secret path the Onan, that's what we need to do? I am. Um... Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? You scare up that alchemist when needed finding? The work it is! Time for another break in. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, this is it, lads. It's been an honor. Our faith head. This is incredible! Can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tear's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. This is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! Took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling to your spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it.
is taking us next? I do not know. Oh no! We're back in hell? Oh dear, here they come. Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms were made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. Tyr's braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange rooms, though? Now you mention it, 
He wouldn't. You fellas sure love to make a racket, don't you? I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jordheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. to work. What? There was no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You have eyes like him, Amir. I've got an eye. One! It didn't work out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot. For years, I've seen some blades sometimes block. Lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Rocket's injury! Sindri and Brocka by your eye next time we see them. If they even know anything about it. Hey guys, question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... Oh. <laughs> He wanted me to build a hall. Hall? He showed it to me, you see, and I... Hall? The clink? Sir, will you... Excuse me? Oh. Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of box-speckled talkers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know he got it built just the same. What was the statue? Yeah, it's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. Once more to the horse. Are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. 
Well, I'm not gonna miss this. Good idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in the Jungle Valley either. How about you, Father? Never one that was not trying to beat me. You should expect that sort of response at this point. about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of the way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Huh. Smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. But like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. Want to be cheer? There, the hammer. Maybe if that was closer. Not gonna make that. No, it's not like I can still see through it. You should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Now we 
looking to cipher those new blocks. And the travel run is here too. You wanna go? How's it feeling here? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the town tempting feet? There's something down there. <sighs> the water kind of burns you. That is water, isn't it? Why? Back out. We signal. Oh, what's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Norman Gander's belly. No, something is wrong. What's happening to it? Nothing good. Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How I feel? How I feel? <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You? I'll deal with 
with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? Be pretty. I will let you hurt him. No way. Fine. Stop! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. Oh! 
alive. I've never felt more alive!
Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa <sighs> I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. <laughs> from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell! That is my promise! He saved your life! He robbed me of everything! Everything! You are just an animal! Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change! You do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy! Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you'll be. We must be better.
Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Hmm. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. understand. I know Satan was the right thing. She seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with fear in it. Just, if our time lasts, you'll come around. Back to Tears Temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Volgus say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring us cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanier magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. It's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. The only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Hey, Mimir. Last we were in the boat. We just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the long war? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Are you married to Odin? And we'll pick this up later. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things work according to the plan, <coughs> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way.
get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I'm considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing the heat brewing in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone wants to fire... My lady ships soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgar. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Send us here. One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's 
Something's happening. It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... New giants? That's us. The first time we met the wild serpent. But how? And our fight with Walder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here, knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? 
Rainbow Key. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for God. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We missed it. I understand if you want to go home. But I bet there are still some corrupt developers out there that can be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus have started to do? That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for Dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you might have realized. The snowball began when you swoop all up. It's become something else. Stuff of omens. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't. I'm telling you, it's Vimblewind. I can feel it in my throat. This is a big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. There ain't been snow and you know it. It's the end time. How dare you make me the voice of reason. Guys, we're just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Thimble winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my screw. Yeah, we... Try to keep moving. We if you're not we're heading not home, die. same advice. You scare up that alchemist when needed finding? Let's get you squared away, then. I see. Just wanted to stare into my eyes. So how was your trip to Jotunheim? Will you give him a little privacy? The kid just found out he's a giant. He doesn't need you interrogating him. Bruh, you knew? Oh, we knew Faye was the last guardian of the Jotunar left in Midgard. That's why we named for the axe. 
We hope they could restore the balance of power. After Thor went all breezer with our hammer. Though in the end, it seems she chose another path. She chose, well, you. Both of you. I suppose she figured that was the best chance for the giants to live on. And now, I suppose, that's up to you. How about that? A young Jotun with us the whole time. And the son of Lofrid are just... Uh, I should have seen it before! Something else we can do for you? Nah, no, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah, well, I could say the same to you. Yeah. I guess I was getting a bit bored. Boy. The tower ate the unity stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Amir, what did you call Mother? Laufey the Just? Did you know her? I never had the pleasure. Laufey was a rumor in the halls of Asgard. A giantess warrior who thwarted many an Aesir god's plans. Freeing those who they would enslave, feeding those who they would starve, generally making a nuisance of herself in the most noble of ways. Thor was terribly frustrated he could never find her to fight. Once my imprisonment began, I could only wonder what became of her, and who she would turn out to be. Yours is quite a singular lineage, lad. We're finally home! Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. <laughs> 